to you this is John Mack here I wanted to talk about changing your reality is that possible for you to switch into another reality uh, where things are different for you um, where things change in a way that you um, can have more of what you want actually um, and new people will come into your life and maybe you will end up in a different place to live uh, with a different kind of a job. Maybe you finally quit your job and get rid of all the stuff you don't want to have in your life and um, start to create what you do want. I'm sitting here at a um, beautiful hotel in Chiang Mai, boutique hotel. Um, they have a really nice outdoor coffee shop and everybody, everybody is taking a photo about, you know, everyone. Um, but it's a very peaceful place. This is a reality I step into when I want to read uh, or write. And I find so much peace here. So it's a good place to be. So my name is John Mack. If you haven't heard my, my name before and what I do is basically teaching and upgrading people how to step out of reality's norms. Everything that society expects you to do, you know the typical norms of society would be uh, go to school, go through the shitty educational system, get a job, make a living or try to make a living and survive and, uh, and do what you know most people expect. I'm not into that. I left that many years ago that's why I have the freedom that I have now and can do the work that I you know, want to do and love to do. Um, and so many people now want to break out of that. Especially, I think, when it comes to education and, and, and having a job. But a typical trait for a lot of people that are, we call it wake up, is to struggle with what people around them expect, especially friends and family. It's a big challenge for people because when you start to think outside of the box and outside of the typical norms, um, people will start to um, talk crap about you and your plans and your visions and everything. And uh, you feel that you are maybe the black sheep of the family. Um, and you feel that you don't fit in. Um, the typical sources of information and entertainment is not something for you anymore. The usual places that you normally go to it does not feel right anymore. Um, friends and family just don't fit in with your reality anymore. And that can, you can start to become lonely. So what the hell do you do? Well, first of all, you should not give in to the pressure of anyone. You should uh, be your unique self and follow your uh, urge to grow and, and um, step out in your step into your own reality and create it the way you want. So how can you change that reality? So, so in this video, I wanted to just talk about a few things that I have discovered. Uh, I mean, I've been into a lot of things when it comes to spiritual and metaphysical topics um, because I want to know how things work and I want to know how I can control my reality and shape it and upgrade my mind and my body and be spiritually connected um, because that's what we are so if you ignore that um, I mean there's nothing you have to do but if you ignore that you ignore the most the biggest part of you which will reflect your physical reality right so one thing I wanted to mention is that um, I've been surprised the last two months actually how how much information there already is and have been for a long time. And there's so many, I mean, it's so easy to find information now to upgrade your mind. And I have been doing an insane mindset rewrite just the last two months because I had to and I wanted to. Since uh, summer this year, you know, I started to get into a um, 
another way of having a craving for getting into metaphysical topics and, and more spiritual um, connection. One of them I've been channeling that I've been, uh, been attracted to for many years. So I've been reading about that and learning more about that. Uh, I've been having some uh, very fucking sad, dramatic shifts in my reality. Losing probably my most important connection I, um, that I love very much. And, and different people also just changing. It's part of a reality shift. Um, but it also pushed me into um, accelerate more of what I wanted to know more about. So um, I'm, like I said on a talk here, I'm in Thailand, in Chiang Mai, and what I said on a talk uh, at an event last night that I did to the crowd, we were three people sharing uh, our stories for 2020. I told them I'm a, I'm a hard mother bitch to hold down, so I find my ways so of keeping, getting strong again. Um, I have 17 years of martial arts, so I, I use that as a, one of my methods. I do meditation, I eat pretty, pretty well, I think. Overall, um, I have gained um, even more strength for the last two months. But I have to say, uh, which this video is mostly about, that I'm amazed about how much uh, I've been able to rewrite my mind the last two months. So, one thing I wanted to mention is um, there are so many sources on YouTube you can watch to learn how to think and feel your way into a new reality. But you have to expect you have to expect to open your mind because uh, this will be in a way that is not common. This is information that's been around for years, f forever, basically. But I was surprised to see that uh, there's a lot of very famous authors from the United States that, with information that came out and was super popular already back in the in the 1900s and yeah you know there's there's always been bright minds that have been talking about these things one of them i'm thinking about is neville goddard that's really well known for his um, talks about um, imagining your future into reality and his techni techniques to how to do that and there's a bunch of people on youtube talking about this so that's one you should look into one author you should look into um, one book I also want to mention now about changing your reality is a concept coming from the Russian, an, a Russian author, uh, which is pretty modern and, and new, I would say. Uh, 19... Oh, damn, I can't remember now. It's, not, it's just a few years old. It's a concept of reality transurfing. That's the concept. Reality transurfing. Search that on YouTube or search it on online um, and you will find uh, information about it so I'm reading one of his books it's a fat book it's over 800 pages but it's so it's written by a genius that author is a genius and it's it's so detailed going into you know everything that has to do with how we think and create and manifest our reality I am it's rare that I'm surprised about a book but this is so detailed and it should be a must read for everyone going to school even. But this is probably information you know that won't come out in a while um, as school material. But it should have been because everybody, humans in general, would have so much more control of their self, their mind, their heart in how they create their reality. So. That's basically what's been the source for change for my part. Just the last two months when I decided to do, a, do an upgrade. And I have turned out to be so peaceful in my body and my mind. And um, now I just kind of uh, want more information. So, so look into reality transurfing. It's become a super popular concept and a way of life for a lot of people. It's been changing a lot of people's life. Um, the book is translated, as far as I remember, into over 30 languages. There are coaches around the world teaching this concept of reality transurfing. 
and um, it's a um, mindset rewrite to understand life in a totally different way for yourself. How you think and act and feel, how you relate to your mind and your heart and how to connect it to create the reality that you want by imagining the future timeline that you want. So this is what I'm talking about now, is basically to jump timelines, get into another reality timeline. And you have a lot more control than you think. So consider the year that we are ending today. Today is the 31st of December, 2020. It's been an um, insane year for a lot of people. I've had a good time. I'm not really into the pandemic uh, hysteria at all. I'm not affected, I'm not infected, I'm not going to be infected by anything. I'm not even affected by the pandemic, which is the fear pandemic, which is basically what it's all about. It's a fear pandemic. It's pretty funny, actually. They talk about this virus, but the effect on the body is, is the stress coming from the fear. That's when people get sick. So, but, but you, can, you can step out of that reality completely if you want to ignore it and focus on your own well-being. Start to upgrade your mind instead of fucking up your mind by watching the news and listening to people's fears. Because that will become your reality. And I'm sure you have experienced that already. So if you feel that 2020 has sucked vacuum in space <laughs> um, and being shitty, um, make up your damn mind today that in 2021 you will step into a completely different reality and you will decide how it's going to be. And just know that you have to open your mind. You have to think like there is, that magic is possible almost. You have to get into that. And decide to look away from the madness of society, which will probably have you uh, need to leave some people out because they want to stick in that, stick around in that reality. Um, people, you know, get stuck because they think that what they see, that's the only reality. But that's where you have to drop off because that's not true. So also combine this and consider what now scientists are talking about and finally starting to understand that multiple realities is the only explanation for what they have discovered so far. Parallel realities. It's finally coming. So consider that and uh, rewrite your mindset. Look into um, how to manifest your life by imagination by Neville Goddard. Just to give you two simple sources and look into the concept of reality transurfing. Search it up and you will find information. So I think that's enough for today's video. Questions? I love them. Send them over and I will, I will reply to you. Stay well, happy new year, and let's transition into a completely different reality in 2021. Stay well.